Chapter 142 A mere movie King Su. In the end, Heart of Hope fell into Su Jingting's hands. Hun Zemo made a few moves, but in the end, he gave Su Jingting the courtesy of a gentleman. Su Yuji expressed his admiration for Hon Zemo. Hon Zemo was the CEO of the Hong Corporation, so there was no reason for him to be interested in a small necklace. He must be like his brother for some reason. Regardless of the reason, Hon Zemo was willing to give up and help his brother save the damsel in distress. That was great. In order to make up for Hon Zemo's loss, Su Yuji had put in a lot of effort. Coincidentally, he was sitting beside Hon Zemo, chattering non-stop. President Han, look, isn't that by Kiman from your company? Her item is a bracelet, and it's not bad. Han Zemo replied gentlemanly. No need. President Han, President Han, this is a high-end men's watch. Do you want to? Han Zemo replied politely. No. President Han, that's also a necklace. Shall one help you raise your packet? Han Zemo was speechless. The camera swept past Su Yuji, who was talking to Hon Zemo. The camera swept past Su Yuji, who was still talking to Hon Zemo. The broadcast room was filled with the screams of Fu Joshi. Su Yuji's thoughts were too straightforward, but Su Jingting was different. When Jia Yishan went on stage, Ryu, uh, Lin Cheng's, Su Yuji, and Hon Zemo were the ones who placed their bids. Ryu was loyal, and Su Yuji was even more so. In that case, Lin Cheng's and Hon Zemo probably had other thoughts about Jia Yishan. Lin Cheng's had already passed. Su Jingting was confident about this. This was also why he suppressed Lin Cheng's and did not kill him with a single finger. In Jia Yishan's words, it would be beneath him to make a move. But Hon Zemo, separated by Su Yuji, Su Jingting and Han Zemo's eyes met. Han Zemo spoke first. Congratulations, Mr. Su. You got what you wanted. Su Jingting played with the small gift box of Heart of Hope in his hand. Thank you, President Han. I'm fated to be with Heart of Hope. In other words, it's not fated with you. Can't even think about it. Han Zemo smiled silently. Su Yuji looked left and right. Everything that happened at the auction had already been spread through the live broadcast platform and the headlines on Weibo were rolling. Hashtag Yi Yi and Jia Yishan hash. Hashtag Yi Yi is street stall goods hash hash Sabran hash. Hashtag movie king sus auction hash. Teep me king sus girlfriend hash. Number Yi Wee Mie best actor Su hash. The popularity continued to rise and the auction ended with applause. Reporters from all walks of life blocked the entrance of the auction, trying to ask something. The moment Yi Yi stepped out of the auction house, she would be surrounded. Miss Yi Yi, is it a coincidence that you and Jie Yishin prepared the same item? Miss Yi Yi, are the rumors true that you're using a fake necklace as an auction item? Because your skills are limited and you don't know what's good for you. Please say a few words. You became famous because of your short videos. Are you dissatisfied with Miss Jia Yishan? Who became famous because of her acting route? Was that why he used the exact same necklace to humiliate her? Yi Yi lowered her head and adjusted her dress. When she looked up again, her eyes were already misty with tears. I'm sorry, everyone. The exact same necklace is purely a coincidence. I did buy this necklace from the mall. One didn't know it was a fake. So I hereby apologize to Miss Shi Yishan Anna. I'm not an industry insider, so one don't have the ability to distinguish between authenticity and falsehood. I'm really sorry. Yi Yi's sincere attitude moved everyone. 